Well, tonight, a new push in Colorado to decriminalize natural psychedelics like mag magic mushrooms. That's the case in a number of U.S. cities, and leading the charge here is a disabled veteran who says they have helped dramatically with his PTSD when nothing else worked. KRDO News Channel 13, Sydney Stell has the story. The issue of natural hallucinogenics is headed here to Colorado Spring City Hall. A local combat veteran wants certain plants and fungi like magic mushrooms to be decriminalized. He says psychedelics saved his life. And I had, you know, very bad like suicidal ideations. Through discovering plant medicines, I was able to, you know, break that cycle of thinking. Anthony Caballero served in the Army for four years. While deployed, he survived blasts from improvised explosive devices, or IEDs, causing traumatic brain injury. When he came home, his battle with PTSD began, and the suicidal thoughts started to take over. I have done traditional therapies like EMDR, um, counseling like that. But he never found success with traditional methods of coping. He also watched his platoon members take antidepressants to manage their PTSD. It changed them, and I got to see that firsthand. And I just didn't really um, enjoy, I guess, the way the military handled it or the VA. He says using psilocybin mushrooms and another psychedelic called DMT changed his life. He found his suicidal thoughts began to clear. And now he wants to help others who are going through something similar. So last fall, he approached Colorado Springs City Council about passing a resolution that would decriminalize ethnogenic plants like psilocybin mushrooms and a form of DMT. He says he's still working to get more information to city council before they make a decision. While the psychedelics are still a Schedule One drug federally, scientists at Johns Hopkins are leading a charge to consider them for medical use. Caballero hopes that if natural psychedelics are allowed to be integrated into therapy, it can save more veterans in our community from taking their own lives, an issue that's especially prevalent here in El Paso County. More than one veteran a week died by suicide last year. My hope is, you know, if we were to pass this resolution, you know, to work with like colleges or anyone that's interested um, you know, so that we can get professionals to work with these substances and have it, you know, in a safe environment. Caballero may be facing an uphill battle. When I reached out to city council about the potential of this resolution, at least one said they weren't ready to comment on it. At City Hall, I'm Sydney Stell, KRDO News Channel 13.